there's a new way to save energy in your home. By installing a heat pump, it's possible to reduce your electricity consumption by up to 30%. But what is it and how does it work? A heat pump is an energy efficient water heater designed to fit neatly with your home and save you power on a monthly basis. Heat pump works just like an air conditioning unit. It draws the heat out of the air, combines that with a small portion of electrical energy and then puts that energy into your water. So it saves you about 75% of your normal water heating costs when using an element. So it connects to your geyser with two pipes and you replace the electric element. The electric element can stay in the geyser but you disconnect it from the main so you never rely on the electricity to the element to heat the water. The standard 200 litre geyser uses roughly 10 kilowatts of electricity to heat the water. Now a heat pump will use a quarter of that to achieve the same amount of heating. The way that it does that is by absorbing heat energy out of the air, just like a solar panel would, except we're taking the heat out of the air, not out of the sunlight. So absorb that heat, convert that to a usable temperature through compression in the machine itself, and then put that energy into your water. Hot water is available on demand and heat pumps have adjustable water temperature settings. ESCOM also offers rebates to consumers. There are two rebate structures. For the first one, up to 300 litres, there's a 3,600 rand rebate. And over 300 litres, we have a 4,300 rand rebate. To obtain your rebate, you have to go through an ESCOM accredited installer. We will supply the heat pump less the rebate charges and then claim the rebate back from ESCOM. So there's less paperwork and less fuss for the homeowners to achieve their rebate. To see a list of accredited installers, visit escom.coza slash IDM. Will the heat pump work as efficiently as a conventional geyser? We asked a homeowner. We installed it about 18 months ago. When we initially installed it, we did a test. We, we put the geyser on on its own and took it to 60 degrees. And then we turned that off. And once the water settled down to about 15, we then switched on the heat pump and let it go to 60 degrees as well. And we used about 25 to 30% of the energy that we'd normally use on the geyser element. We have hot water consistently. You know, even if we have a shower or a bath, the heat pump comes on as required. So we never have a shortage of hot water. We do also run it on a timer. So what we would typically do is uh, let it come on at about six in the morning and then it will run up to temperature beyond standby until about seven, eight o'clock at night. And so we have hot water throughout the day. The next morning, obviously, it will come back at six and take it back to the temperature we require. Advantages to the heat pumps, other than the energy saving, are the quiet operation and the fact that it can be conveniently retrofitted to existing geysers. The beauty of the heat pump is its ease of installation, the neatness of the system, and the reliability of the water heating. It doesn't rely on direct sunlight to heat the water, so it heats it during the night and during the day. Throughout winter, you can guarantee that you're going to have warm showers with a third of the electricity cost that you were using. And remember, you get your money back for installing it. Rebates from 3,600 Rand to 4,300 Rand, a very good investment indeed.